Hi, this is Laura Rogers, and today I'm going to show you a couple of quick tidbits about creating web part pages in SharePoint and, and uh, what you can do in SharePoint Designer. So by default, when you're not on a publishing site in SharePoint and you create a new blank web part page, you it basically puts it in a document library. So I created a document library called Web Part Pages. Put my blank web part page in there. It's a .aspx page, and I get this web part page that's great for putting web parts on. But my issue with them, what really, what really annoys me, is that I lose my quick launch when I'm on the web part pages. So what I do to get around that, to sort of make my own that include the the quick launch, is instead of creating them the way I just showed you, I go into SharePoint Designer and create them a different way. So I go File, New, and choose ASPX. Now I have this blank white page. Choose Format, choose Master Page, Attach Master Page, and then click OK. And you wait a few seconds, and it um, you can see that it's retrieving your Master Page information. Then it's, you have these blank sections here. You click this little gray chevron on this Placeholder Main section, and click Create Custom Content. This now allows you to be able to click inside that box, and I can click the Insert button, SharePoint Controls, and choose a Web Part Zone. And now I can save this page into my site. I can still save it into that Web Part Pages library. I could save it um, into the root of the site, wherever I want to put it. But at least now it will look like all the other pages, and it will have that quick launch displayed. Other things that I can do if I want to get a little bit more fancy, if I don't want to have just one big web part, web part zone called Zone 1, the way I can make my own zones on this page is I just insert a table. So I just um, pick how many rows and columns I want. And then what I do is I can customize the way this table looks first. So let's go merge these cells and I'll kind of modify the width of these cells here and then after I've got the table looking the way I want it to look that's when I go insert SharePoint controls and insert web part zones so I put a top web part zone left and then a right and now and you can see that I can make whatever kind of web part zones I want to um, in whatever format I want to on the page. And then once I've done that, I can go into the web part zone, right click and go to the web part zone properties, and then I can actually name them this way. And you can see that you even have further control here to control what users are going to be allowed to do on that page um, having to do with web parts. So then I can name all these different zones that I've created and then save the page. So um, just, that's just another quick way to create a web part page that you can create a more custom web part page and have the quick launch included in it. Thank you.